Hey guys, it's Tommy CM. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another coaster review. Um, today's coaster is Space Adventure Experience Coaster. Um, this was created by A Fistful of Herbs. Um, if you watched the Lunar Solar Duality coaster I released uh, last week, I believe, um, then this is by the same creator. Um, the description for this coaster, uh, come, it does come with instructions, which you can see there on the screen about uh, not looking around and pausing it when you first get in, which is what I've done, um, which is why I'm not sort of hovering around the park. Um, but the description itself says, this is a POV space travel experience, a launch into space from Earth in the year 2147. Our mission will take us to another galaxy where we may encounter an alien race, but we consider these aliens to be hostile. Try not to be captured and make it back in one piece for the party. Daft Punk is performing. A sci-fi roller coaster created by Fistful of Herbs for the players, not the NPCs. Um, and then it gives, also gives thanks to uh, Kakis, who I did the last coaster review on, um, on his Stargate Command coaster. So, yeah, really, uh, really intrigued to see what this is going to entail because I can say that the last one that he created blew me away. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be something special. So. As I say, it does say um, it does say to just keep in testing, and it does say to sit in seat one as well. Um, so <laughs> there's there's the stats, but we're not really bothered about the stats, are we? Let's face it, like, we're just bothered about what this experience is going to be. So let's go.
Well, that was that was mental. <laughs> There's so many different things going off here. First of all, let's talk about these guys at a uh, Daft Punk rave at the end here. Guests who are actually just trapped and asking for help, but they do look like they're having a good time. So uh, we'll we'll assume that they are dancing to the music up here. Um, really, uh, really nice touch that. Now, first of all, this room here, the launch control room, this is so well built. I mean, the, the view as you look out this window of the rocket, that is just. I mean, how many? I want to know how many pieces are in this. You know, like six hundred odd pieces there. Another 87. There's so many pieces to get, that they've got in that, and it just looks it looks fantastic, the rocket does. Um, but especially coming out of here, and the music, which you can hear at the moment as well, just adds to the whole setting. But then, to go through here, and all this room set up, you can see how the car looks in third person here, going around. Everywhere's just so well, so well thought of and so well built out. And then if we actually uh, climb... Climb up. I mean, if you look at the whole route of the uh, of the coaster track, it's just it's just obscene, isn't it? How how much how much room it takes up. It's it's brilliant. Um, but then as you come into here, so here's how you get the uh, how you get the the flare effects. Now he's obviously used a time machine to to change it to to dark settings um, when it comes to this part of the ride. Um, but then. He's used all these panels of um, fire effects, which, which do look fantastic. Um, which you know they, they do uh, they do really add to to the experience. But and then as you come on here again, the, the, the different the different effects go off. This this whole room here, just when when you're in here in at the, you know in pitch black, this really does look like like space. I'm just trying to look at these to see how he's got these. So these are just these are just um, light bulbs from the uh, from the spooky pack, but they just look so good in you know in in this space star room. Um, the other the other part, I mean, I, I could go hunting round for for the parts I enjoyed the most, and, but I would be here all day trying to follow which section of the track goes where. Um, the other part I liked was the was the spaceman uh, trying to bring you back to life. Uh, I'm not sure whereabouts he is. Uh, as I say, I, w I would get lost trying to trying to find all of this um, but that that really that was really uh, that was really impressive because I, I genuinely didn't I had no idea what what to expect there and and how and how he managed to do it um, obviously here's, here's the ride coming down here there's there's the laser that, that you know that you, had, that you had to stop and get scanned at but ev everything in here I mean <laughs> as you can probably tell, I'm kind of just speechless as to how how he's come up with it. It's just to have the imagination to to bring all this together. I, I can't comprehend how or, or where to begin with this. Do you do you start by building the ride and then go around it? Do you do you do it bits at a time? Um, you know, there's so many so many different questions, um, and I believe you can only have up to 50 trigger sequences on a coaster um, I believe that's the case anyway but if so you know he's, he's used them very well I'm, I'm just trying to scan, scan through the uh, the different uh, bits of the track here but you know when you when you see it without the effects obviously there's a lot more to it I mean look at the building here for example this this all looks fantastic you know it, it all looks so well put together here um, I, don't, I don't even know which way around I'm facing at the minute. There's that much going off, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, so many different effects. So here's where here's where the aliens were shooting, and then I think at one point we uh, we we run the aliens over pretty much, and you can hear the music there. So obviously, obviously the car is nearby. I mean, as I say, I don't know where the car ends up there. But even even these even these um, effects here using using this piece of scenery I, I, I can't even select this piece of scenery there um, which is that like uh, witch that goes round on a circle using that you know to his advantage as well 
And you're actually so far underneath the map here by the looks of it. And there's the trees look from above. So yeah, there's, as I say, there is so much going off. I would fully recommend downloading this um, off the PS Workshop if you can, and just have a just have a search around. Um, make sure you uh, make sure you change the setting uh, for no clip um, in the menu, which I got recommended to do last time, um, which I have done now, and it makes it a lot easier to find to find my way around these um, around these coasters. But uh, yeah, I really would recommend having a look around, seeing what he's done, um, how he's done things, and yeah, it, it is just amazing. Here we are, here's the, uh, here's the space one being brought back to life. So basically, the, I imagine the car pulls up here, and then we start like there, and I imagine that's why we've got to sit in seat one, because this would be the best view for it. But the idea to do that is... Uh, is, is brilliant because you, you you look down and you like you see your body and you think hey I'll put him on a coaster, but uh, yeah absolutely fantastic use of the uh, white panels as well to make everywhere bright like a hospital bed. Um, right, and then you go through here and there's more. It, it just goes on and on and on. And I, I honestly I could investigate this for for so long to see. Uh, there's the hospital room we were in. I think we were, we were like sat in here. No, 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 we weren't. We were up in this bit, weren't we? We were up at this far end here in the hospital room, and then I think you go out. Yeah, and then you go out back to the uh, back to the rave. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic coaster. As I say, um, have a search for it on the PS Workshop um, Space Adventure Experience Coaster by A Fistful of Herbs, and yeah, just just have have a look for it experience it yourself and have a search round afterwards because it really is a uh, a great coaster. I would say this is probably I prefer this one to the, to the Lunar Solar Duality. They're both brilliant. Um as is the other experience coaster that Kakis made the Stargate Command. All, all three of them are fantastic and something that I I doubt very many people at all could possibly put together. Um but yeah, this, this is this is Definitely uh, Herb's best one um, that I've seen. Um, I think I just prefer the, the, the theming to it, the, the space style theming. But uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that, I think that's it from uh, for my tour around this ride. As I say, I could uh, could talk about it forever, but uh, I think I'm running out of words to describe it really because it is just uh, it is just one of a kind. So uh, yeah, I'll leave the description um, with well, I'll leave the information in the description below if you do want to check it out. Other than that, if you have enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and let me know what you think about it in the comments below, um, and I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.